One of my favorite animals, if I was really pressed to name one, out of the whole animal kingdom, it would have to be the African buffalo. Now, if you're not familiar with these animals, you could be forgiven for thinking they're glorified wild cows or some ancient ancestor of the domestic cow. They're not actually, they are only very distantly related. Their unpredictable wild nature has earned them quite the reputation as one of the most dangerous animals in the African savannah. When I was growing up in Kenya as a young girl, I was fascinated that of all the animals out there, lions, hyena, leopard, cheetah, elephant, it was the African buffalo that was the one that seemed to inspire the most reverence and, and actually fear as well, but also it was often an animal that was at the heart of some of the best stories that I would listen to around the campfire. At the foothills of Mount Kenya, called Abadez National Park, it was a very bright full moon that lit the scene beautiful stars like just filled the sky. It was back in the day where we didn't have normal cameras, any kind of night vision capability, any night filming, infrared, all that stuff. We'd been up for several hours. Mostly what we saw were various impala, gazelle, some elephant as well that had gathered around this salt lick. All of a sudden it was heads up. Of course, you know, everyone watching the scene was hoping that this is the moment a big predator was going to rock up to the scene. And slowly, the impala, the gazelle, and eventually even the elephant sort of cleared and moved off the salt lick and went to the edges. In came this lone, male, old African buffalo. Limping, he looked tired, he looked like he was in pain. They tend to have these kind of almost like wrinkled circles around their eyes and on their face as they get older. So there were a lot of cues there that we were picking up that this was an old male, but he wasn't just old, he was injured. He just slowly walked through, head hanging low, very determined, moving in one clear direction to the center of that salt lake. And when he got there, he dropped his head down and started licking lapping up the salt that he'd come for. In the wild, an animal will do everything in its power to hide an injury. If they're not predated, they're either injured or they simply get too old to keep up with their herd. It doesn't want to look vulnerable. It doesn't want to be singled out by a predator as an easy kill. All the other animals looked incredibly wary of him. With such an obvious injury, you could barely put any weight down on that foot. He was clearly in a lot of pain, even despite his size, vulnerable. So there he made his way right to the center, presumably because that's where he felt safest. That was where there was no scrub, where potential predators could lie in wait. The elephants particularly, who, because of their size and numbers, you would have expected to dominate the area around the salt lake. The older females definitely looked like they weren't interested in trying to challenge this um, buffalo. So these two young male elephants sort of tried a few mock charges, you know, trumpeting and flapping their ears and, and moving towards him. <laughs> and watching this old bull buffalo, he would sort of raise his head up and just kind of stare them down, just face them head on and just tip his head up at them like that. And the body language, there was no mistaking that the message was clear. This buffalo was saying, I am here and I'm not moving for anybody. You know, what I saw in that scene was tenacity, resilience, and holding space, taking up space. Ever since that day, I have the utmost respect for African buffaloes. The very same personality traits that earned them that reputation of being ill-tempered, bad-natured, dangerous animals are the same traits that mean they are also unbelievably resilient animals. The number of times I've either seen firsthand or in natural history films where a single animal will be taken down by three, four lions 
and you're thinking to yourself, come on, buddy, this has got to be it. Your, your number's up. And just at that moment, it finds another gear and it fights its way out of that situation to live another day. <laughs>